Uh, this is the THP 80. It is our first city pump pump. Uh, here we have all the stores for the pipe system. Five, four inch on each layer, 150 foot per side. So you can carry a total of a 300 foot. Plus we have 36 square foot of rack on the top, which can be customizable to bigger, smaller, whatever the customer decides in shapes, sizes, and what they want. We are running two 60 gallon water tanks, one on the left and one on the right for equal weight distribution. They do empty equally from each tank, so you won't have one full, one empty, and get offset on weight. The hydraulic tank is in the middle. We're running 111 gallons of AW46, which can be changed for the climate of the customer. The truck is mounted on a Navstar International with an Allison automatic transmission. The truck is under 26,000 pounds, which does not require a CDL, which makes it very nice. Customers seem to demand the, the low weight and everything to keep out of CDL. Uh, we've had great success with the truck, and this is the only truck we offer at the moment. We can look at other trucks as far as customers asking, and we just add the pump kit to it. Uh, yeah, speaking of the pump kit, why don't you tell me a little bit more about the pump kit? Okay, so the, the pump kit is our tried and test, tested uh, THP 80 pump kit. We use it in the pumps in Germany for our crawlers and for the trailer pumps in Germany, which we don't have the trailer pumps in US uh, at the moment. It is an open loop system. It does run Rex Roth main pumps and that's the same in all of our machines now. We run Rexroth across the board, uh, AVO 11s. And everything in the middle, the pump kit is very accessible. You can kind of see how it's all open in the middle. You can get to all the hoses. It is changeable from rod to piston side for whatever the customer's needs. Nice. And all these panels behind this are removable, so you can still get to anything easy and mm -hmm. readily. The hopper is a 600 liter hopper. It is the same hopper that is on our 42 meters, our 50 meters, and 37 meter class pumps. So they can be interchangeable with whatever machine you have if you buy multiple machines, where parts and everything are the same. This does run eight inch cups. That is the only difference between this pump kit and the 42 over there is it runs nine inch cups. But everything from the hopper back is the same. Uh, catwalks are very accessible. The system is easy to get to as the other side. The control system is the exact same control system we use in our crawler pumps, which have been in the market for quite some time now. And they're very robust and we use IFM control modules for all your data information on CAN bus systems and feedback from the trucks. We went with an HBC, a handheld remote for this machine. This is an option to add to it to make it easy and other applications of running the machine while not there at the machine. Uh, proximity switches, there is no switch. You just wave your hand over it and this would activate it during the time that the pump's in motion to do certain things so you don't have an actual physical button. Uh, outrigger pads stored here. Comes out to go underneath the stabilizers on the bottom which can go down to stabilize the machine during pumping activity. Uh, open space on the truck for boxes or cabinets or grates or whatever the customer decides that they want to put all their stuff in to store it. And real quick, Eric, this seems to be very customizable for the uh, owner operator. Correct. Um, that was that was on purpose, I imagine. 
everybody wants to change it to their own individual application because it varies all across. It varies from state to state. So to give customers the option to make it theirs is what we feel like we should do for the customer. And, th and why this size model now? I imagine Lee Bear did a lot of research and a lot of uh, got a lot of feedback before they jumped into this. So the American market is a little different than the German or Europe market, and we feel like across the board this is a this is the thing that is needed by quite a few customers in the U.S. So we we built this to see to get the feedback and see what the feedback is from the American market and. This is what the Europe came up with. This is 001, right? This is the first. This is 001. How excited are you to see it here out, out on the floor at World of Concrete? Very, very excited. It's been, it's been an undertaking and to get it to the show is, I, I just can't wait to get it out and see it pump. I, I wanna see how it, how it performs in the field. Fantastic. Yes. Thanks, Eric. Hey, no problem.